Walmart set to pain due to long-running bribery fraud. The settlements address civil and criminal complaints over Walmart's conduct from 2000 through 2011 as it rapidly built new stores in Brazil, China, India and Mexico. The United States Justice Department said a Walmart Brazilian subsidiary, WNT Brasilia, pleaded guilty to a criminal charge connected to the foreign corrupt practices act, the United States anti-bribery law. United States regulators said Walmart repeatedly looked the other way and did not heed red flags about possible corruption, allowing its foreign subsidiaries to open stores faster than they would have otherwise and garner additional profits. Walmart proceeds from rapid international expansion, but in doing so chose not to take necessary steps to avoid corruption, Assistant Attorney General Brian Ginskowski said in a statement. In numerous instances, Senior Walmart employees knew of failures of this anti-corruption related internal controls involving foreign subsidiaries, and yet Walmart failed for years to implement sufficient controls converting with United States criminal law. Walmart's international revenues grew from about billion in 1999 to billion in 2010. Walmart agreed to pay millions to settle the Justice Department's criminal probe and to retain an independent compliance monitor for two years. The retailer also agreed to pay millions to settle a parallel investigation by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Walmart characterized the probes as related to activities that took place years ago and created efforts starting in 2011 to enact an extensive global anti-corruption compliance regime. Since that time, the company said it has spent more than millions of scan inquiries and compliance efforts. We're pleased to resolve this matter. Chief Executive Dustin Pamelin said in a news release, saying the company has invested tremendous resources globally into ethics and compliance. Walmart is committed to doing business the right way, and that means acting ethically everywhere we operate. The SEC said the company several times planned to implement the necessary programs and training, but then put those plans on hold even amid corruption allegations. A December 2005 report by a special investigator hired by Walmart in Mexico found evidence that law had been potentially violated but the company did not follow recommendations for investigative next steps, the SEC said in an administrative order. A subsequent report in 2006 concluded the Mexico subsidiary's anti-corruption measures were deficient, but Walmart did not address these. Shortcomings or in act improvements until 2011, the SEC said. In Brazil, the company indirectly hired an intermediary who earned the nickname the Sorcera Sorcini because of her ability to obtain licenses and permits quickly. The Justice Department said this intermediary made improper payments to government officials without the knowledge of Walmart Brazil. In India, Walmart's inability to implement Anti-corruption controls between 2009 until 2011 meant it retained an intermediary who made improper payments to government officials for store operating permits and licenses, the Justice Department said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.